Oh, yo, at least you guys aren't in the same bracket. That's cool. Who's up for? You, you, or you. Wait till Tim's out. Will Freeman. Really? Right here. Maybe I can get some size out of there. See if it just takes it down. Will the lights just let me? Yeah, let's see. Tagging doesn't really work on my screen. But tagging doesn't. Whatever. Work. Yeah. 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 Exactly. You can just share it. Um, you can you can share it right to your share. Facebook.com slash onpbuilders.net. Yeah, but it might take a while since it's out No. It should have this logo on it. Smoke her too loud. Eleven in the winter, nine in the loop. Should be good. Hey guys, it's Nate McGay. I'm com commentating this match for you against uh, Justin Barber and Gabe Owens from On Q Billiards here in Benton. Train wreck. Brew two. Brew two. Brew two. Yes. Oh, okay, brew two. Brew two billiards. Race to eleven got an extremely tough field. It's amazing. Bergman trying to shoot a save on Gabe. Didn't look like he got it. Too loud to let us know. Thanks, guys. All right. Be sure to share this. This is uh, gonna see some amazing top players in the country and the world in this thing. Just make sure to hit the share button. Thanks, everybody.
everybody for joining. Shot by Cade. I got a batter up there. Yeah. <laughs> Two champions here. Got the legend Justin Bergman, and you got a. Uh, Oh, look at this shot. Oh, it's coming out a little bit. That's a good hit by Gabe. Did you get anywhere you got to play more? Bring back to the table. I'd rather I'd rather be the good one off of the bat. If I do, you know, I should put you in gear. Yeah, yeah. I'm not certain. I just locked him up. That's a good save by Bergman. Of course, he pulled a picture of him. I'm like, that ain't going. He's moved there. That ain't going. Yeah. 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 Bergman opening. Looks like he's got a three ball combo there. More than likely gone. It stays in line for the three here. Depends on what that six does. He's in good shape. Made a nice hit. Come back and fire that 5-9, I'd say. That's what he's looking at. Come back a couple feet. He's probably, probably going. Gabe Owen back to the table. This is 
16 player field, okay. stack field. Make sure you share this with all your friends. If you're a fan of pool, then you're going to be a fan of this field. You got just like this first match, Justin Bergman, Gabe Owen, you got yeah. Hennessy in here, and Devin Petit, Alex Owinger, Mike Franz. All kinds of top players. People drove from hours to get here to Brew 2. Ben. Got behind that ball. He might have got lucky. No. Bring Bergman back to the table. One goes without the scratcher. It's not the train wreck anymore, it's Brew 2. But yeah, the former train, tra train wreck. It's not, a, it's not a very big place, but I'll tell you what, the players come out for it. It's amazing. Enormous Calcutta player auction. $200 entry fee. Shot a safe. Didn't quite get it. Brings Gabe back to the table. Gabe's probably gonna shoot a safe back on him. And he does. Shoots a pretty good one too. Trying to put the two in the stack, make the run a little tougher for uh, Gabe. Makes it a little tougher. It's not a, it's not a cakewalk. You in, Mickey? Yeah. Uh, Joined by Mickey Hammond here, the owner of uh, On Cue. On Cue Billiards. BCA proprietor, owner of On Cue. Biggest pull promoter in all of uh, Illinois and Indiana, more than likely. Yeah, I think he uh, left it. I mean, you know, if we put that two ball down there where the one ball is at, uh, yeah. I definitely wouldn't say it was a bad call. No, I mean, he's got some work to do. He's, he's definitely got some work. I, I could see Gabe uh, opting for uh, some type of defense or something. If, if that two passes, then I see him coming around, kicking out, kicking that nine ball out, and you got the three in front of the hole. So. <laughs> I would figure he's going to shoot that one ball, two rails down towards the two. But he's I think he, he might be shooting a safe and then locking him up behind the eight ball, too. Yeah, that's what I think. He'll put the two, one ball, two rails down table. Right. And if he gets him on the eight, that's a pretty good sell on. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm sure he's going to be there. That's still pretty good. You know, any time you leave a ball close to the rail, it makes the kick so much easier. Oh, yeah. So, uh, you know, Justin can kick this and put the one ball behind the two He's ball and put the cue ball behind the stack on this side. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, these guys I mean don't you don't want to get them, you don't even want to let either one of these guys to the table. I mean, Bergman. Yeah, these guys don't kick for a hit. No, they kick for a make or a leave. <laughs> That's fine. So if you see them. 
I don't know. He kind of kicked out like he's hoping something magical would happen. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I wish I knew what was going through his mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looked like he was uh, trying for a hat trick there. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, he didn't leave him no dog. No, he left him a bank, but it's certainly makeable. He kicks the six out. He makes a great shot. Wide open now. I think this is going to end up to be a good match. I mean, you know, Justin, everybody, his credentials speak for themselves. And oh, yeah. If you take a guy like Gabe, he just battled for six days in a one pocket oh, match against uh, Danny Smith, Dennis, arguably yeah. one of the best one pocket players on the planet. Oh, yeah, in the whole world, no doubt. I mean, Dave was getting, or Gabe was getting a little bit of a spot, but nothing crazy. <laughs> Just a, yeah, one time they were at 64, 64. Yeah, I think they the final was 75, or 62, 70, 75, 60. Five, was it? 72, 72, 65. Yeah. That's, uh, that's crazy, a six day grind. Yeah, they played for six consecutive days, and then Gabe, then Gabe comes here. Drives nine hours. Drives nine hours. Drives nine game. hours. Come here. That's, that's guy, the, guy wants to play pool. That's the dedication. I Maybe mean, that's Gabe Owens for you. He's a he left New Orleans at three times. Won several on the Pro Tour. Won the U.S. Open. I mean, these guys' credentials are just unreal. Oh yeah, there's so many good players here. I mean, we're bitten with uh, what seven thousand people. Does it have that? I don't know. <laughs> the caliber of players <laughs> over here. Stream, so yeah. it looks like we're going to have a game early on with the one. one. Yeah, there's. Uh, I would assume Gabe is. I mean, I'd take, uh, I'd take even money that he gets out here. I mean, I'd probably give 10 to 1 he gets out. Because <laughs> even if he would happen to get straight in on the eight ball, yeah. you know, these tables are very forgiving. They, yeah, they're very forgiving. They shoot, to the they shoot absolute lights out on nine footers. I mean, you're not going to put him in a bad spot. And it's funny, he got pretty close to straight. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's going to be okay. Just shot a little punch and drift down. It's going to be a chess match. First one to make a mistake each game. It's all about that one little mistake yep. with players at this level. Clean. There you have it, one to one. Clean, clean, boys. This is, this is Nate McGahey and uh, uh, Mickey Hammond, owner of On Q Billiards. Got, I don't know if they have, they've got to be I mean, watching the winner so far. I think never changes. I keep saying, keep saying join, join. Be sure to share this. And, uh, like I said, if you're a pool fan or you know somebody that's a pool fan, they would. They would tune in anywhere to watch this. Sure to small, this. small town in uh, Benton with this same caliber of players in here. It's Chris amazing. Robbins. Uh, this, uh, this tournament's in Benton, Illinois, Southern, right off Interstate 57, close to Marion and not running Illinois. Um, these great players are a small bar like this because it's, uh, it's a hell of a tournament. Uh, first off, uh, it's a hell of an entry fee with a hell of a payout. Yep. And it's not a long drive. I mean, Gabe drove a long way, but you figure Justin's only an hour from here, really. And uh, A lot of these players are close. There's right. a lot of good players in this area. Uh, uh, Todd Anderson, it's a uh, winter break. Uh, raced 11 on the winner's side, raced a 9 on the one-loss side. Brian, we have these tournaments uh, typically here once a month. It's like I always said, the uh, our, our Illinois, Indiana. In the tri-state, some of the best players in the world. That's not it. Oh, okay. I haven't paused. You know, you got the Johnson City tournament for so many years, held the world championship. It's only ten minutes from here. You know, it's. Like he got one to drop. I don't think he got any love on the break though. Gabe crushed him pretty good. 
Look at that stick bow, Mick. That's a cool pick. Oh, yeah, it is. Think you got any follow through on it? <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Pat. It's awesome, ain't it? <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got to mention the great little Joe Lamacho on here, too. <laughs> Gabe shoots a save. I don't know if he left Bergman a window or not. I'll tell you in a second. So you got him. I get he did. Think about Bergman, he doesn't even really have to see him to make him. He just they just go when he shoots. Money at that really well. If it gives a little love off that bounce there. Well, that's a good shot. <coughs> that's a good stroke right there. I don't care what country you're from. Look at this shot. My land. <laughs> wow. Couldn't get a good view, but it looked like he was sewed up and he just soft stroked the Could've length of the table cut. I mean, he only cut it uh, hard to get a good view. three and a half foot. <laughs> Slow roll, three and a half foot. Yeah, I could see that. Step aside. It was, it was, TV it was a pretty amazing uh, shot. So players can see the brackets. That was his intention there, but if you can see that, then he can shoot over. I don't, I don't think he can see the ball. No, he can't. Definitely can't see the ball. Yeah, we're getting kind of a glare a little bit. If he's froze on it, yeah, he's gonna have to kick. And yeah, that's it. You know, there's a chance that nine ball could go on the side. If he, yeah, if he come, I think he's gonna come. Oh, he is gonna go too. Definitely an unforced error by Gabe. I say, I knew oh, was, my gosh. I knew there was a good chance that Lando could have went straight to the side. <laughs> How good did he hit? Great effort, good shot. <laughs> hit both points on the side pocket. Mercy. He, you know, he knew the five ball was going to the right there, and the key ball was going to stay to the left, and he kind of got away with a little bit. Three, I think. I know. Three ball, yeah. It's easy to get him mixed up. A four and an eight, too, it's hard to tell. Got a pretty good roll, but Bergman was very capable of kicking in or doing something amazing. Both Guys, if you don't mind, take a second, hit the share button on the bottom of your screen if you're watching, uh, trying to grow our viewing audience. Appreciate you guys tuning in on a Sunday to watch some good pool here in Benton, Illinois at uh, Brew 2, uh, formerly the train wreck, obviously because we're right beside the train track. Right, right next to it. Oh. We got couple of the best players in the U.S. Uh, here today. I mean, uh, you know, yeah. Justin. I mean, they've, they've played with the top players in the entire world. I mean. Uh, Patricia, this tournament was limited to 16 players. Uh, Brad, sorry. Well, I would Gabe say. got a pretty good fortunate role on, the, on that lead, but I mean, that's just part of it. I mean, he, he sold himself up. He went for the, he went for the nine, got a Good roll. You know, a couple mistakes uh, going to happen here and there. Luckily, it's a it's a long enough race. It's a long race. It is. Uh, Brad, the entry was two hundred dollars. Gabe just has always played so fluid. I mean, of course, Bergman does too. Bergman does. Bergman's, he does, and he, he does Bergman's just a fancy. monster, but. I mean, Gabe's always just shot so pure and clean, but that's uh, what... You know, Gabe's a very methodical player, and that's what makes him mm -hmm. such a good one-pot He leaves player. himself... Oh, yeah. He always le leaves himself just at that right angle, the, the right angle. Of... I apologize for a little bit of the glare we have here. The uh, Not a real good setup to put any lighting in, so... It's a good shot by Gabe. You're going to be seeing a lot of these from both players. Justin concedes on that. 
on that nine ball, which is a gimme, and uh, Gabe goes up two to one against Justin Bartman here in the race 11. You know, you see a couple of mistakes here early in this, but you know, these players here, uh, the breaks haven't been the greatest, but you know, these guys, it's a winner break format. They're gonna find a sweet spot. Uh, and the thing about it too, this, this caliber, I mean, just pocketing a ball and ha being able to see it is, is so much power because they shoot so, uh, so strong and leave. Well, I think once these guys start finding the sweet spot of the table for the break, you'll probably start seeing some two and three backs put together. Oh, I, oh yeah, sure. There's no doubt about that. Welcome, buddy. Hey, Dennis Hatch. Amazing, got Dennis Hatch watching. Moscone Cup player representing our United States. He sure played well there, didn't he? He did play well. I liked his, uh, what did he have, the Superman cape? What was he wearing, the Superman? Folks, if, if, if this doesn't, if Dennis Hatch joining in doesn't get you to share, hit the share button, I don't know what. You got a guy that just shot lights out in the Moscone Cup, and he's watching with us, so that gives you a little example of the size of this tournament. Yeah, Ryan, is a double elimination, race 11 in the winner's side, race the 9 on the one loss side. Uh, it is a winner break format, 9 ball will not count in the bottom, or anywhere, for that matter, I guess, not just about the two. Oh, buddy, Donnie Johnson. No speed ball. My, my, he, my, he's my stake, one of my stake horses. Speed ball, Donnie Johnson. Probably one of the highest pull IQs in the country. You know, we got another good match going on back on table two with uh, Kyle Hargis uh, playing Mike France. You know, uh, obviously neither one of these guys are at this level up here, you know, consistently, but skill level wise, that's a good match between those two. They're oh, both sure. strong players. Absolutely. There's. there's it's a strong field all the way around in this tournament. Hey, Darren, uh, Todd Anderson is on. He was on a minute ago, so start sharing, buddy. Todd Anderson, he's a, another real good player in the uh, northern Indiana area. I played him at VNEA State. Uh, the, I, I won it this year in the intermediate division. Uh, Todd was, uh, I think he took third. He plays real strong. Nice. I'm surprised though if I don't know if Hatch is back around, but I'm surprised Hatch ain't. Doesn't Dennis live or wasn't he from Indiana? I thought. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, Dennis. If you're watching, where, where do you where are you from? I played him when I was younger in Indiana, but I thought I knew he used to run around Indiana, but I think he goes wherever the action's at. Well, yeah. You know, I don't see a lot of trouble if you get on the three ball from here. Oh my gosh. Oh, but he he grabbed that seven and got a. That's, uh, that's not. That's, I, I don't think he wanted to touch that seven. I don't either. I, don't, I mean, I thought for sure he's going to. I didn't see that coming. That's yeah. just. See, if he, I, I figure if he got that two ball and got around the table, I think he's out. Yeah, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb, and uh, even though he's got a kind of a small window, I'm going to say that uh, little Justin can get out here. We have my buddy Bob Darney join us. Uh, Bob uh, recently moved to Belize. Yeah, uh, you believe that? I can't believe it. Uh, I hope he's doing well there. Bob is uh, one of the co-founders of On Key Billiard before uh, myself and uh, Patrick Akers purchased the company. Loco Roberto is what they call him. Loco Roberto, that's right. <laughs> Crazy Bob, I believe he was there two days. And Loco Roberto. It looks like he's living the dream there, I believe. I, I think, see well, I th crazy. I think that he already drank the place dry. Well, I believe he was out of alcohol. The second every time day he was I there. see him, he's too fisted, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bob, I, knew, I didn't know he drank until I saw him sober. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's a dandy, he's a great guy. Oh, that ball kind of chunked on him. Well, you know, I, I, I see a little, little slide, slide stoppage there. And, uh, I mean, not that 
I don't think he's going to lose any sleep over the shot. But no, I mean, it definitely makes it a little tougher. He's got to go longer for the nine now. But I see him cutting it, going back and forth. He might bank it. It's Justin Berkman, too. I think he'll just go a little, lengthen it up and go a little yeah. longer. Well, he's got his shot, you know. It's, it's not a duck, but I'd rather be shooting from my opponent. I can tell you that. <laughs> yeah, but it's Justin Berkman. True. So we're at two to two. Two to two. We got kind of a early on. He got kind of a. Uh, Gabe kind of shot that. I didn't. I really didn't see him doing that. I seen him putting a little bit of a little right, maybe kind of coming around at double the pocket. Well, I he fired a little harder than I thought. Right. Him, you know, just, and he hit it too. Hit it so thick. You know, I thought he would create could, a little bit shorter of an angle. Yeah, he could have put the right on the ball and, and uh, hit a little more than mm -hmm. the ball. And just a nice finesse will spin around. These just, tables are pretty fast. They're playing fast. They're playing really good. I don't know if it's Simonis, but they're sure playing like Simonis. Well, they're recovered with some. This table here is recovered with Simonis and Pinkman at rounds. So it's uh, yeah, fast. It, it plays really similar to a diamond, just looser. More forgiving. Well, let's see how these guys are adapting uh, to the previous breaks they had. That's pretty good break. Get a ball yeah, that's down, a one ball. Got a shot on the one ball. If it don't, if it don't drop. Oh, man. Justin didn't look real excited about that one falling. I mean, he still got a shot on the three. It's a long shot. But if he makes it, I mean, four yeah. balls sitting right there. If that three goes, yeah. I think it'd go past that ball down there. Well, you know, I mean, he's, he's close to the rail. Or is that the, is that oh, the two? Oh, the three balls That's down a low. Two. Okay, yeah. I was thinking yeah. the three balls down it's top. It's hard. We can't get up. The, the lighting here is the yeah. greatest on the stream. It's going to glare. It kind of glares off of it. Sorry for people watching it for uh, So he's got the two back there on that. Close to the back right pocket. Justin might shoot out. He might roll out. I think he's... I'll tell you what he's going to do here in just about 30 seconds. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it is double elimination, Ryan. I mean, you know, the, the push out's tough here. You got those three balls there in the middle of the table. That's a it's a lot oh. of barricade to get behind oh, man. tonight. I mean, these guys. I mean, it, I'd be surprised if you don't set up for a, a jump shot, push for a jump, or or he might just go for it if he sees it leave. I mean, he could try to kick behind it between the nine. I mean, he's going to try to kick it two rings. He's going to... No, he's maybe kicking one. Oh, he's, he's just pushing safe. Down. Man, that's a hard shot to give up. I mean, it really for, is. That, for that close, it's pretty... Well, when you got any time I mean, you got balls real close together, I mean, you got a the, good safety You can go one rail right between seven and eight and then lock them up right. on the back rail right here is what I think he will do, unless he's going to... He might cut it. Hell, I don't know. I just didn't think Bartman was leaving that. Well, he cut it. He uh, came into the face of four ball. He cut it like this. nothing, so. Hey, Tanya Crawford, she's, my t she's one of my teammates. <clears throat> Watching Justin Bergman and Gabe Owen. Tanya, she's from Fairfield, right? She is. She's Fairfield. originally from Australia. Everybody. time they stand in front of that light we get a glare across the table it's a it's a it's a small area and it's tough to get any kind of adequate lighting there mm -hmm. sure it's, i mean the cameras are really clean but kind of just a little bit of a glare but well we got little mikey in here if anybody wants to pitch some quarters yeah there's your guy there's a guy oh he wants a he's fine spot. he's fine oh mikey yep Mikey Williams. Mikey will gamble you water's not wet. He's awesome, man. He's so he's, much fun. He, he's got gambling. Oh, for God. Sure. He's like, he makes he makes pool room exciting. I'm surprised he wasn't here throwing some money around. He does like to throw some money around. Oh, man, he's he likes else. to gamble on anything. I mean, I like that about I him. I talk about him all the time in my pool room or wherever I go. I'm like, this guy is amazing. 
Well, I uh, gave, uh, you know, got back to the table. Looks like he's gonna get out of here with a little bit. Yeah. Bergman shot that push. I mean, I don't know. Obviously, he knows the right shot, but he sure left him a pretty. He sure left him a pretty easy out. Yeah. Gabe made I, that. Gabe made that cut. I don't know if Justin was looking at it like. I don't know. Yeah, There's I so think many, at a minimum, I would have, I would have pushed for the jump shot. You know? Or I mean, if you know, at the same rate, I mean, I would probably push and at least leave the distance of the table where it's not a makeable shot where you got to at least you not. I mean, I don't force know. him into playing yeah, safe. Yeah, force him into playing safe or giving it back to you, you know, because he was awful close. When you're close to the ball, you can do damage. I mean, as far as your lead goes, and, and just like that cut shot, it just went right in there. Just, Justin definitely had a plan, though. We got Brady Beer, man. I was surprised Brady didn't make it. I, I mean, I think I seen Brady saying he ain't been playing a whole lot competitively. He's been training some, but right. Brady always shoots good. Definitely a good, solid player. He needs to be over there and get get up into some of this action. Brady's one of the young guys, kind of up and coming. Oh yeah. Got a. He's traveled. He played on the junior world team, didn't he? Yep. Got a long life of pool ahead of him. Yeah, absolutely. Well, they broke like thunder and scratched. Uh oh. Justin's mouth is uh, water's coming out of it. For only, sure. only, only one ball is within a foot from another ball. That's the kind of break you want to have. Yeah, Justin. I think every piece of clothing he owns is lucky. It makes him shoot good. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Justin, Justin's lucky clothing yeah. line. Justin's got his lucky shirt on, is what my girlfriend says. So, yep. Yep. It's his power color. Like Tiger wears red on Sunday, Justin wears orange. <laughs> <laughs> Justin probably could be wearing a wife beater and, and a pair of Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Dave Rich, we appreciate it. Appreciate you watching. Uh, you know, folks, uh, don't mind to share our post. Uh, get the word out that we got some great pool action going here on a Sunday down in uh, Benton, Illinois. Most people don't know this place exists, but uh, I think this pool tournament says it does exist. Yo, yeah. Yeah, you guys hit the like and share button. Please share this. This is uh, if you're a pool fan at all, you'll be sharing this and tagging some of your friends in it. Because if you guys don't want to watch Gabe Owens and Justin Bergman play, it's uh, I don't think you guys want to watch pool. <laughs> We're here in Benton. We got I mean, we got Justin Bergman, Gabe Owens, Alex Hennessy. Olinger, Devin Petit, Jonathan Hennessy. Yes. And I'm here. Maybe Hayes here. I forgot. I forgot. Hey, I played in tournaments with many, these guys many a time. It's been a few years back, though. But... We ain't no spring chickens no more, are we? No. <laughs> I think shouldn't have money in lots of them. I ain't stamped off like 15 in a row, big ones like Mervyn and Gay, but <laughs> I, won, I won my share when I was younger, and I'm still. It's cost so much to travel. It's just a mate, like Bergman says too. You know, it's hard to justify. It's so hard. I like watching Bergman sometimes. When Bergman's looking for his next leave, and he starts pointing his stick around the table, and he's not pointing anywhere to it. I don't know what he's looking at. I like to ask him sometimes, "Hey, what are you looking at over there?" Oh, I know. It. You're nowhere near where you're trying to get at, but you're over there looking at the other end of the table. Yeah. He's well, got I mean, a method to his madness. Oh yeah, I mean, sure. The guy's one of the best players on the planet, so. I'm sure Gabe's gonna see this match and make it 3 3. We're swapping yeah. games, uh, swapping off the break, matter of fact. A couple, uh, that one on unforced error by uh, Gabe kind of hurt him, and they broke. Uh, Gabe broke that last track and scratched. scratched. Yeah. So, as far as miss, missed shots, there hasn't been any. The only thing that's missed is uh, a leave, and Gabe made that. Uh, Scratch. Aaron, uh, Devin hasn't played yet. His first match is going to be against Mr. Uh, Slick Willie Freeman. <coughs> oh, mercy. Uh-oh. Well, that's what you were talking about right there, Mike. That one passes, I think. 
It does. It's going to be quick work of this. Yeah, these guys, you know, they break it up. They learn the table. Oh, they learn it quick. They learn how it's racking. They go one breaking. side. Mm -hmm. If they they light up, you know, whether to hit them hard, come from an angle, come from the side, they adapt quickly. Six players in this tournament I've seen shoot for thirty, forty thousand yes, dollars many times. What's called cow? Um, it is five to three Kyle with Grant shooting. Probably going to go to five. Uh, Vic is currently five to three Kyle. Uh, Mike's shooting. Looks like he's on his way out. So we're probably looking at a five four um, after this game, Kyle. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Philip, Philip. Uh, cool. He's got up. You know, as you said, Justin's making pretty quick work in this oh, yeah. racket. Yeah. This, ta this shot here don't look like it's easy, but on the valley yeah, table, yeah. you know, oh, yeah. these tables roll, roll, play good, roll fast, and, mm -hmm. but the pockets are still a little forgiving. more forgiving. He didn't. He shot that to the inside uh, of the rail, and it, the yeah, table accepted it easily. I take it you're working, or you'd be down here watching uh, some of the action. And here starts the running campaign. Now, once these guys get going, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's what these guys are running five yeah. and six. Oh, it's nothing. It, the break is everything, but it's like a table like that. I mean, Justin's going to run that all day. We're at seven games, and the one error was Gabe scratching. Yeah. And they scratch on the break. Besides that, every time they got to the I mean, We had a forced error by, uh, or unforced error by Gabe, where he hit that seven ball and scratched. Right. Um, and then uh, Bergman, all he did was push out, and he lost the game. And then besides that, I mean, and then the first time he has a break with another shot, he runs out. Yeah, Brian, uh, you know, Justin, uh, we all know uh, we've seen that gear with him. He is fifth gear. Oh. Uh, whoever he's playing is usually in trouble. When, when Team Europe, you, Appleton gets on there and says he wishes he could pick him up for Team Europe because <laughs> <laughs> that was something else whenever Appleton said that. I was like, my God. You know, him and Sky played last year, man. They played really Oh, they, they do. Were, I mean, they they never were just been an beat. unbeatable duo. They've never been beat. And they played some pretty tough players against the partners. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, folks. Yeah, this, might be, this, is, this might be another quick one. Uh, uh, Carrie, I'm not real sure what the payouts is. Uh, you know, I'm helping run the brackets and that kind of stuff in the stream. But, uh, Between the player auction and the money, they're probably looking at close. Uh, there's, uh, there's I'm, a pretty, lot of, I'm pretty sure combined uh, close to 9,000 in the tournament there, there's, there's, there's a few thousand dollars in, in the tournament and that's what these guys are here 16 people with that kind of payout yeah you know there's obviously some great players but we ain't got to play every one of them sometimes the bracket plays a big role in, uh, in how you finish sure it does and uh, in the process of telling Gabe to find a seat and watch what I do best. Yeah. He's going to juice this one up. He's going to juice this with a little low left and drift back to the table probably. But we know at any second Gabe, uh, off any mistake, a dry break, a scratch break, Gabe can uh, really uh, capitalize on that too. He made that look tough, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Just not sure where he's gonna put the nine ball at. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I mean, it's in a rough spot. It's I mean, I'm surprised if he makes it's this. It's at least ten just, inches from the pocket. If he just don't get conceit, you know, start a new rack. I'm surprised Gabe don't just give it to him. Thank you. Uh, yes, definitely. Nate is in the lineup today. He will be playing and competing. No, it hurts. His first match is against yeah. Randy Johnson Jr. Right there.
run by Bergman. Two in a row now. You know, it's funny, you're playing a guy, hey, it's three to three, I run with him. Um, I was playing uh, John Gabriel, Music City. I got him down four to two. I dry break, <laughs> race to 11, I never come back to the table. You know what happens? Well, it does. They're about a year and a half ago when I played Gentry. I did, Gent, Gentry was making three or four balls every break. He breaks around the first five on me. He hangs up the eight ball. I make the eight ball and the nine ball. And I break dry and he runs next to me. <laughs> I was like, yeah, good. He's like, good shooting, eight. I was like, yeah, did you like that eight and nine? <laughs> oh, man. And that cue ball's flying yep. back about three foot and you're hitting the brakes. Yep. And, and then coming forward, stopping. I mean, you know, the one ball, well, I don't know where he's going. He made the one. He might just lay up behind the five. He might go for it. I don't know. That's, There's no telling with Bergman. I can't. Is it two balls out of the middle table or is he shooting at the three ball? He's shooting at the one ball right there. That's a five. No. Right there it is? Yeah. No, that's a one ball. Nope, it's a one ball. Yeah, that's a one ball. Oh, yeah. Minnie's got a good shot out of here. She can see. Yeah. Hey, okay. Justin Hall. This is in Benton, Illinois, right off Interstate 57. Uh, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with that area a little bit. You used to run around this area. Justin Hall on here. You got, you got two... Yeah, Two Brian, uh, yeah, it used to be called the train wreck. It's now called Brew 2. It was uh, recently purchased. Justin Hall watching now. So he's a Muscon he played on the Scunny Cup, didn't he? Uh, I don't remember if he did or not, but it don't matter. Justin Hall is definitely one of the top players uh, in the U.S. I think he's living down in the Florida area now. I think he's up from Florida. I mean, he's not He's not from Florida. Where did he? Well, I thought he was originally from somewhere around this area. That's what I thought he was around for Indiana. But yeah, he's from Florida now. He's like, lights out. If Justin's watching, he can answer if he played on the Scony Cup. I thought he did, though. Justin played it. We're playing lockup safety. And he rewarded him with the ball in hand. Yeah. Rusty said, yes, he did. I thought he did. So you got Hatch watching. You got Justin Hall watching the Scony <laughs> Here in a few minutes, Efren will be joining us. And I mean, you know, that three ball looks so tight, but again, on these tables. Oh. You know, I mean, where I'm from, we, we play on diamonds, but you know what? I love playing with good quality Valley table. I, really this, these, I shot about 10 or 12 racks earlier just to warm up a little bit, and it was shooting really well. I like it. I love a fast table. <laughs> Especially in a long race with a fast table, I love it. Yeah. Austin, uh, you know, you got a few more years, but uh, see, by the time you get to that point, uh, you're already tough as nails. You're, uh, you're really going to be competitive up in these. Austin won the junior championship in Vegas this year. He lives, I think he lives in uh, maybe here or Metropolis. Yeah, he's not far. What was that uh, three straight runs for? Yeah, well, he, he had to play a safety in this rack here, but then he got out of a good safety. Right. You know, Cab, I, uh, I, I can't argue that. I think uh, Justin Hall... Uh, would definitely be a good fit for the Moscone Cup, and of course, no doubt, Justin Bergman. Justin said he is going to uh, try to earn some points and get back in it for the next year, which I'm glad to hear. I think he wanted a little bit of break, and uh, Justin did this year, and didn't even attempt to play in some of the events. Yeah, but I, I mean, I think he thought, like I think the whole country thought that he was a shoe in for the captain's pick. Right. Well, you know, but, it's, a, it's a shame that, you know, you travel to these tournaments so far. They just don't pay any real money. It's, it's hard, hard to justify it. These, this, 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 these guys' job, that's how they live. I mean, we appropriated money back when I played on the tour when I was younger. And it was just even finishing in the money. It did. 
Oh, you, playing against the caliber of players. Well, you I go, couldn't even... You go somewhere the, that's six hours away, and yeah. you got three oh, or four was, yeah. nights in a room, you, you got the tournament, you know, you, you, you got to have a You pick up two or three thousand dollars, and you're not even breaking even. Right. I mean, then the next one, and oh, it's... Every time I did it, you know, I was like, hey, I'm finishing in the money, and I'm not even breaking even for the travel. Here's a little Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon, another world beater. Shane, uh, did he play on the Scotty Cup one time? Um, no, I don't know. Well, he was another Shane. Player. Did you play on the Moscone Cup? Definitely another solid player. Oh yeah. Look at this luck oh, up. Yeah, Justin's really getting the the fill the table. Yeah, and you can tell. Hey Austin, uh, you're welcome. We appreciate you tuning in and watching. It's a uh, it's a nice Sunday and. Uh, I ain't much other dudes watch some good quality pool. We definitely got some good quality pool. Oh my today. gosh, putting it mildly. This field is just, this tournament is just awesome. Yeah, Jackson, you're right. It's, it's unfortunate, you know, the Moscone Cup point tournaments just don't pay. It ain't worth it, you know, for the guys. Right. Even if you go, you know. You don't make money those. You go Moscone. If you win, you got twenty thousand. You lose, you got ten thousand. And still, you ain't you ain't coming out ahead. No. Such so prestigious to be on it, but the, what they have to sacrifice to get there, and mm -hmm. you get to these other countries. What I was talking back and forth to Bergman, how these other countries have so many endorsement sponsors. I mean, and how many European fans were in Vegas? It was just, yeah. you know, they outnumbered us five to one, you know, and it's, that makes a big difference. You know, you got 3,000 people in there. You got 20, 22, 2,500 Europeans in there right. in our own country. Imagine the pressure on our players, and then and when they go to Europe, it's, it's ten times worse. Well, the difference is in the United States, most people treat pool as a game versus a sport. And in, in other countries, it's a sport to those guys. You're exactly right. You know, the big table this year, you know, a lot of the Moscone tournaments were on big tables. Um, I think they had five or six of them that was all on big tables this year to earn Moscone Cup points. I think Justin set up for another safety. They weren't Wasson tables, No. Wasson. Wasson. They were putting behind that six ball this time clear that one out to get an opportunity to get out. No, well, Gabe's the last four times at the table, he has been, he going to come off this. <laughs> He's definitely room. been in the trees. He's in the trees. Uh, Austin, uh, no three foul rule in this. Uh, you know, typically it's pretty common that in a nine ball tournament, three foul rule normally don't take effect on a bar box uh, tournament. I've seen some where it does. It might have uh, pretty fairly. <laughs> Well, he definitely got a hit, you know. Mike Crawford, my other teammate. I mean, Justin ain't got a straight in shot here, so. Mike, really looked like he was about to knock out. Austin, Chris Austin made a good point last time he was here. It's like how dangerous it is if, those, if that train come off the track. I remember that. If yeah. that train comes off the track, he said, well, be dead. Yeah, I mean, there's a good chance, you know. But I told him there is a chance it could fall off the track the other way. There is so, if it does come off the track, we still we have a 50 50 shot of right. not dying. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, there's only what, probably, that train probably only travels a good three miles total. Yeah, yeah. So, there's a good chance of it falling off right here, too. So, I do worry about that when I come over here. Now. Well, I mean, the last time that I lost the tournament over here, that's all I thought about. I know, you can't get down your head. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if the friends that I've lost from just being in buildings and train, hit my train. and trains coming off of tracks, I mean, in the buildings. I know, I, I, mean, can, I can count them. I mean, <laughs> oh. <laughs> half a finger, it's crazy. You know, it's funny that you know, we're big fun of Chris, but the guy sure can play pool. Oh, he's oh, lights he's out. Austin's a good, good great pool player. player. He just does some weird stuff. <laughs> he, he does. He cracks me up. You got to rouse him. He's great, though. <laughs> Terry Kurtz, I'm watching, along with 
Guys, we just shared the bracket. Uh, if you want to uh, click on the link that we posted there in the comment feed, you can click on it and go to the bracket and see who's playing. Uh, we're still in the first round. No matches reported yet. So. Absolutely not. I would pinned it on top. It'll stay. It'll stay top. Hey, you pinned it. Austin is watching us. I wish, Chris Austin. I wish he could have been here. Yeah, so we, we have the actually the, the brackets. Uh, it's pinned at the top of the comments, so you can click on it anytime you want to see the updated brackets. They'll be updated as matches are completed online. So. Uh, brackets and Stream is brought to you by On Cube Billiards out of Evansville, Indiana. We, uh, you need a pool tournament ran, uh, we can run your tournament. You, if, you know, if you're in a place you can have an auction, we can run it. Run the brackets and Stream. And take the load off uh, the people there that normally run the tournaments and let them participate and have fun. So the table's turned a little bit, and Justin's against the wall a little bit in this particular game. He's studying. Well, I always said Justin's one of the best kickers there is. He kicked that really good right into a straight-in shot. Yeah. yeah, I mean, if he would have made another ball, he's dead straight on that one. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, it's, it's, it's fun to make uh, to make riddle of uh, some of the shots, but you know what? Uh, the uh, it's all fun. These guys are great. Slowest players. game ever. I Jim seen that. Well, yeah, well, he didn't watch the previous three that Justin ran out. <laughs> of course, uh, Justin's never been. Of course, he knows to play fast. And it's your opponent too. I mean, he's not gonna. He's gonna shoot smart shots against Gabe because Gabe is very capable of getting up there running yeah. tons of racks together too. You know, there's uh, the first couple games they're getting used to the tables and mm -hmm. the first match. Then they're gonna the loosen up. Yeah. Still table line. I can't tell if that four ball go past that six ball after he shoots the three. It just, doesn't look like it, but. Yeah, the five ball's not in a great spot. <laughs> no. behind and I. He's definitely in deep thought. You guys make sure you uh, share this at home. I'm curious Click to see what he does here. He'll travel one rail back down. Three. three rails. Look at this shot. Oh my gosh. Wow, he went five rails and never touched the ball. Right. That was a nice stroke to fire it that hard in the side. I know, I went through all those balls. <laughs> this is definitely a game of. Uh, As Metro inches, Smart would say, you missed it by that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Austin, uh, Devin. He made a beautiful carom shot. Really? Uh, Devin is not playing yet. Let's see, Alex is not playing yet either. Gabe hit a beautiful shot there. Kind of let the cue ball go ahead and drift through. Or the nice carom on the six. Did he carom off the four for the six? Yeah, he he just finessed the four. And, and I, I the cue ball, my head for a second. The cue ball just uh, pushed on through, pocketed the six. Now he's going to have to find him a fine line here and then see if that seven doesn't go. So, if it, I mean, if it doesn't go. I mean, he does got another pocket inside, but he got to hit this four, come up and move the nine ball out of the way, probably. Is he playing with a Walmart stick? Yeah, I'm pr pretty sure. Oh, that five ball, <laughs> that five ball's not near as bad as it looks. I just looked at the table. He could just drift up. I thought it was tucked in a little more behind the nine, right. but it's not. Yeah, it, if the, I can't tell if the seven goes or not, but. <coughs> I'd say he's going to come off here and just pop that nine out of the way. If the seven goes in the corner, he will. If yeah. not, he's going to try to spin down behind it, shoot the seven in the opposite corner. Mm -hmm. Time will tell. Time will tell. I concur, sir. Well, apparently, 
I don't know. I take it that it goes. If he's playing, if he's planning to come into the nine, I'm assuming that seven goes. I mean, you know, on a valley table, that's not the good side of the pocket. No. But all these guys usually need is just enough room for a ball to go. Oh yeah. Well, he's got it get on this a little bit. You can't just finesse it. You gotta get back over out for the eight. Hit it, Hit it nice well. Shot. Gabe said, just in case you guys didn't know it, I'm still here. Yeah, yeah, he's, he hasn't gone nowhere. Bergman concedes that game. Give us some respect to Gabe. Back to within two. So it's a six to four. Justin Bergman's favorite going to 11 here. The first round at the through two in the Benton. The match, it was um, one, one, two, two, three, three. Then Dustin went on a little tear there. And uh, Gabe's uh, trying to fight to get back in now. Thank you all for sharing this. It's growing. It's going to be a probably going to break all the records for viewers. It'll be in the thousands and thousands. It's going to be a great day. For the yeah. To watch and, you know, some great, great matches, uh, both at the top level and uh, you know these levels. Yeah, even the players that ain't considered players in here. Wow. Are fantastic Man. players. Golly. Look at this. Oh, another bad row. Oh, oh yeah. Man. But, you know, you've got Kyle Hargis, Randy Johnson Jr., yourself. Uh, I mean, who else? Uh, Freeman. Mike France, Will Freeman. I mean, some, really just some cream of the crop. Chris Brown, just some good players yeah, in this. Yeah. Team. You know, these guys know, you know, they, they know that, you know, hey, Justin Bergman, they figure the front runner, but you don't have to beat all five of these players, you know. And it's also fun to play these kind of guys. Yeah, that's I go to Music City Open every year to play. Absolutely. And for such a small town, such a short drive for so many people in a small town to get this group of players. I did get fourth in the Friday Night Open there a couple of years ago. I played a uh, really good pool that year. I won the Open down here whenever they... The last one they had it was just a... Oh, here, Benton? Yeah. Yeah, you did. $100 it was buy -in a term or something. $100 like buy-in. It's yeah. the only one they had. I did good on it. It was the same format as this. What did a single elimination? No. It was double? It was double. It's a great format, though, for this. Winter breaks get longer races, so you get a race of seven or something, these guys are all able to run the whole set out. Yeah. Yeah, Jason, you're right. Uh, Gabe did win the U.S. Uh, Open. U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the guy ain't no slouch. No. Just say that. <laughs> and he won. He went on a tear there five, six years ago, and won. I don't know how many tournaments he won. He won a gob of them. Hey, we appreciate it, Eric. Hey, uh, I'll give Eric a little plug. Eric's out of Ezra, Illinois. He has a Facebook page, uh, Tri-State Q Trader. Um, the page is growing rapidly. If you got any Choose you wanting to sell or you're looking to buy. Um, that's a good spot to go check out. Uh, you know, we talked about game. I, I can't mention it enough. That I'm just, I'm so impressed with the grind he just had with Danny Smith. Yeah. Uh, played for six days I mean, against Danny Smith. Played for six days on a seven ahead set, and it's 64 64 on the sixth day. He told you that kind of grind they got in him. It's amazing. Danny found some type of gear where. He, he just kind of took over from there. Oh, yeah. It's it's a wear on your body, mental, mentally and physically both. I mean, to even have the you know the the Kahuna's to get in the ring with Danny Smith, who's arguably one of the best one bar players on the planet. I mean, yeah, it was like he took out a lot of top players. Justin Hall took him out there a couple years ago, I think for yeah. like about 40 grand or something like that. That was the like first that. match he had lost. He hadn't lost for a long time. They had them fight nights. 
and uh, Danny was just rolling through them one after another, and that was the first time he lost. Justin Hall beat him. Yeah. Justin Hall is one, one heck of a one pocket player himself. And, and rotation, too. Um, as long as it deals with pool. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can pretty well do yeah, it. Yeah, he ain't bad. <laughs> You know, Gabe's got a, you know, I got no doubts he'll make this shot. Uh, I think he's worried about the short angle coming back twice. Does he want to, does he want to shoot the four in the yeah, side? I think he's going to think he's gonna cut and come into the four. Avoid the scratch. Yeah, he might, he might. He's worried about this cross side scratch, but he yep. hit that. He hit it nice. He hit it nice. He had a, he didn't have a whole lot to shoot the two wide on the first one. He's going to. Take a chance at scratch, and he had to, he hit it on a yeah, line. Yeah, I mean, he hit that really, really good. Yeah. Way. They make it look easy, which to them it is. I miss every now and then when I play pool, but I've never ever missed on the sidelines. No, no. I made every From shot. Game. When I commentate, man, I've never missed a shot. And sometimes they never do what I say. No. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. They don't see the shots we do because <laughs> they don't have our camera angles that we have. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to make him shoot this one. Yeah, he got a little bit of a shot. He knows his ball's capable of sliding. Yeah, and then can slide, side pocket if he goes inside, which I'd probably. He's going to. You know, this is a corner shot for a lot of Valley tables. And just barely makes it. And Gabe is still <laughs> sad, uh, I ain't going nowhere, Justin Berkman. Gabe's just said, no defeat, no surrender. It's, uh, this match has been everything we thought it would be. Just run, and then you run, then I'll break and run. If you're in the building whenever Gabe's breaking too, man, he is blasting those balls. Yeah. Good Lord. Three people have been taken to the hospital just from busted eardrums. Busted eardrums? Yep, yep. Yeah, he does have a thunderous break. Whammo. One ball's crying. Boy, it is. <laughs> you know what? Now Bergman says, let me run a couple, and then maybe I might let you back to the table. Yeah, if he can manage to get on this tree, he'll probably get out. I can't tell if the two ball goes up in the corner past the eight or not. Um, I can't tell either. But I'm guessing he's going to come probably come on the back side of it, maybe. Draw, yeah. come over here. Yeah, if, if a two don't go past the eight, he'll go behind the six and go around mm -hmm. two rails, land on the third rail somewhere close. And shoot it up in the <laughs> top left corner. I guess it's close enough to the pocket. He could just draw this one rail down and back over here as well. Mm -hmm. he might be coming behind the six. That's what I figured he'd do. It's more of a natural angle than using the English and letting your. Uh, What's he doing here, though? Well, carry him off and send him to the four, but that's going to put him in the weeds, I believe. Unless he just grazes Unless it. He just, yeah. It's almost like he was. Baseball. That's a pretty tough hit. I don't even know if he, if he gets ball in hand, he'll probably shoot another one. I think Gabe's, yeah, I can't Gabe's, tell if it goes down there. Gabe's probably best shot is just to give it back to him and try to tie up another ball, I think. Tie the eye up on that ball down there, brother. Man. It's close to. Not only are you jacked up and you can't go to this rail, but you can't go to the other rail, so. <laughs> this is where Steve Mizrak or uh, Venom. <laughs> Venom would come into play. Jack straight up in the air, mass A with the leg girl down circle. on the table. Leg girl on the table. Leg girl down right. And then he would shoot between her and a rack. 
Okay. <laughs> Come back and hit it. Throw some champagne glasses on the table. Yeah, and yeah. Out of yeah. Him. Drink the last one right before it hits it. Right. <laughs> if they would only allow women in champagne glasses, like. I know things would get so much easier. If like you venom, that. venom does. Yeah. Aaron May, this is in uh, Benton, Illinois, uh, southern part of Illinois, uh, right off of Interstate 57 between Marion, Illinois, and Mount Vernon. It's at the uh, newly purchased Brew 2 Tavern. Chris Thomas joined us, what, 22-time 20, U.S. Open champion? I think so. I think so. Pretty good, pretty good role. Well, they kicked him out. Yeah, they kicked him out. So you can't keep winning. Yeah, they wouldn't let him play. Chris is a bullet, big bull, pool shooter. Plays a lot of pool. Big fan of the game. If you guys are tuning in, this is a, a chess match. A lot of run tables. A lot of strong leaves played. Very few. Um, you know, four stairs. Oh yeah, very few. I mean. Alex Scratchin, besides that, Bergman's played as he's expected, almost flawlessly. Thomas he played like a dog last night. He gambled a guy for uh, 250. Uh, I think he lost. Did he? Uh, I, I figured if he played like a dog, I, I'm not sure what his right. dog, dog is. But. Um, well, second place is a pretty respectable finish, though. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Even if there's only two players. That's not bad. Yeah. It's I mean, bad. he came in one out of first. That's right. <laughs> Bar barely missed the championship. <laughs> He's a Allison, loose, got lucky. Allison Hardwick is watching. She's a... Allison was the music, nine ball female in Music City, music City, Open, City Open last year. Yep. Allison from Evansville, Indiana. And, uh, boy, she's one hell of a player. Billy Jamison is, uh, started a fan club for, didn't he? Yes. Yeah, Billy Jamison. He's the president <laughs> of the Allison Harbor fan club. He is. <laughs> Jim Kissinger. Uh, Jimmy, there's 16 players. Uh, the bracket is pinned uh, on the comment screen here. You can click on the bracket and see all the players. We only allowed 16 in this event. My old buddy Jim Kissinger went over and played him. Practice with him on his table and get ready. He's going to come over to my place and practice up. We're going to try to get some games going. Got Jimmy, a, Jimmy had a beautiful setup with his nine footer. He sold it. He put the bar box to get He's got a beautiful. He's table. got a fine home and a beautiful layout. It's a beautiful it's, setup. He told me to come over. Practice with him and uh, look at this shot. Uh, oh, well, Whitey. And he, we played, and it was his table played awesome. And he cooked us like 20 ounce ribeyes. He had butcher cut. It was, he treated me good. He said, You come over and I'll treat you good. He did. <laughs> it was like, Now, Tim, I'm not sure what you're referring to, but so far it's working okay for Justin Bergman. I also meet Chris Brown and Eville. Yeah. I think she did, yeah. Yeah, she yep, did. She beat Brown. Allison went through several of them. She's Billy good. Jamerson. That's how they became a fan. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the stroke. Look at the stroke, folks. How did he hit it? Just hit like if you see something you like. I think he hit it perfect, perfectly. I don't know. I think it goes. Allison said luck. All luck. Was it lucky that you won the Music City Open, too? Yeah. You got she had Liz Lovely down six to two. And we know Liz Lovely. Yeah. That girl can play some pool. Uh, yeah. Allison shoots stronger than Granddad's toenail. <laughs> it was funny. I, I I messaged Allison. She went now. She hadn't made it down in, in Tennessee yet. I said, Hey, you just went for the open bid and meets the open. She goes, What? And I said, No, for serious. And I was being serious. Blind bid. She never believed me till she got there. She was a blind bid. She was the blind bid. <laughs> <laughs> How much did you go for? I don't recall what the number was, but she was the opening black bid. You know why she got one? Because I told two old guys I bid on this guy, they asked me who's going to win. I told them. I said, I think Al's going to get the best chance. Well, Justin's about to enter here to try to go up two racks. 
I'm pretty certain he's going to. Three has been the biggest lead so far. Justin led at 1.6 to three. Justin might not get out, but I mean, there's uh, there's always a chance of rolling an ankle or a heart attack. Right. You know. <laughs> you remember the show? Uh, oh, uh, it had a Jim Carrey. Oh, Dumb and Dumber. Yeah. He had to very end. He had watched her. Watched the chance. You sound like one in a million. So you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> What's it? That's what he said to. So What's the chances saying. of a girl like me and a girl like you hooking up? <laughs> Gabe Owen concedes. Uh, gives, uh, the mouse will work. All the way So we got a score of seven to five and a race to eleven. I'd say the odds are one in a million. <laughs> so you're so saying you're there's a chance? Yes. <laughs> seven to five, just a burger. Please. Toby Peterson is just begging us to quit our comedy skit. <laughs> I did an elevator joke two weeks ago. Ray Schultz said he had to get off. <laughs> yeah. Elevator jokes are wrong on many different levels. <laughs> PM us on that there, Allison. We can... Talk to our people and talk to you. Unless you're allowed to speak, can I speak Spanish on here, maybe? <laughs> Justin's break has really uh, improved over the last couple of years. I always thought that uh, he even told Sky if he had Sky's break, he'd run every table. But uh, his break's really gotten better. Yeah, it has. More control, the cue ball. He was talking, he was telling me about one tournament he was at, and, and, uh, the cue ball set at center table, and it was like six, six times that he broke, that balls came out of the stack and just kissed him in the side, it was wide open, you know. So even when you get it controlled, you have to have that, you get bad luck like that. Oh, yeah. Shane Fields, watching. Yeah, I'm a believer that you want to you want to pop that cue ball there in the center table, but that also means every ball's passing by it. Uh oh. Oh, uh, there's a man. Rough shot. That's probably the. <clears throat> he's missed two leave opportunities now. I think one, I think that was a hard shot. Uh, but. Well, he was just he just grazed it, and was supposed to set him behind that five. Just a little bit too much of it. And I mean, really high odds that uh, Gabe's out here too. You just cannot give up a shot. No, a shot like that can cost you anywhere from one to you know, <laughs> one to the set. Right. Uh, I'm sure Gabe was happy. Uh, to see that he oh, shot no. that one ball without kicking. You know he was. Get that nice. He bought a little hop there. Trying, little to hop. trying to force it over. He stroked it nicely. Oh, Smitty. Smitty's watching. Austin, this is a double elimination. Race to 11 in the winner side. Race to 9 in the one loss side. Uh, it is a winner break format. So. Textbook. Pop back across table. Bang bang. I believe he's a little straighter one. He's got to do a little bit of force now, but he should still yeah. be okay. Oh yeah, he'll be fine. I mean, even come come metal diamond, you're still fine. <laughs> He didn't make it quite the middle diamond, but he's. Yeah, that was a problem. He didn't want to hit it much harder because he didn't want he didn't want to draw to take effect and, and pull him down too low. But kind of he was a little straighter. He was kind of timid, be. but I mean, you can, cheat, you can cheat him so much on this. So yeah, I'm, you're right. I'm kind of surprised that he was so close. But I mean, I'm gonna figure he's probably still okay. <laughs> 
I, I, I think he's okay too. I'm gonna cut it with probably a little inside here. He'll just drive the cue ball back and forth, back and forth. I would say so. He might even try to come into the seven. To be safe. Come on the, come on the, uh, not the side pocket side of the seven. Come on that side to be safe. Fire with inside. I might saw a struggle too. Adam uh, Faust, um, top three was uh, Justin. Alex, Alex, Owen, Alex and Jonathan Hennessy in that order. He shot the safe route. He did. Still very makeable shot, but it's it's no duck. Yeah, the good thing is all you got to do is make it. Yeah, you have more of a it's natural position it's a natural if it makes position it. for the eight ball. And the cue ball's off the rail a little bit, so. Ooh. Oh, he was a lot used, harder than I thought he He used the, all that pocket. He did. Uh, I shouldn't expect him to hit that hard. A seven was screaming, it was waving at his arms, but it, it just didn't have no choice. It had to fall. <laughs> yeah, I think you banked it four rails. <laughs> he did. But it went in. Hmm? It went in. It went in. Boy, that ball seemed like it sped up off his last round. It, it did. It flew off. <laughs> it's springy. I was shooting earlier on it, and that's it's definitely lively. No, Brian, you're right. He, uh, I think he definitely made that a little harder than he had to, but it worked like out. Say, once you get out, to. once you get a hair out of line, it's hard to get back in. It is. Oh, my gosh. Oh, mercy. Wow. Mercy. You know, Jeez. and that's what happens here. You get out of line and you're out of line and you know, it just plays in your head. Then you get up there and you And then you're thinking it's seven five and I need I gotta have this split. I don't know what he did there. He's he just, he's not gonna, you shot. You he just missed. I mean it does. They miss. That cue ball rolled back up farther than he expected. And uh, it was just another shot where he was out of line and it plays in your head. And, uh, it's an enormous miss though. Hey, there's my buddy Ray Schultz. You ready for some elevator jokes? <laughs> <laughs> Razor Ray. I'm surprised he didn't make it over. He's working. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, he was working yesterday. I, I think he's working today as well. Wow, look at that break with nothing. Oh, there you go. There you got one. And the one ball got buried behind the eight. Yeah, I know, Brian. Uh, when you see a player like that miss a shot like that, it gives us some hope. It also lets you know that they're human. Table two, uh, Jonathan Hennessy and Rick Rankin. Oh, they playing already? My bad. I make mistakes. Huh? All right, Alex Oling, table two. And Clint McMurphy.
Oh, well, we have our first score update. Uh, Mike Franz played uh, Hargis. Kyle Hargis and uh, wins 11-8. Sound like it's a pretty good match. I know at one time I heard it was five to three, Kyle. So it sounded like they had a pretty good grind. No, I, oh, I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. John Shelton joining us. Plays at our pool room all the time with us. Former Grayville, Grayville MVP. Try it. <laughs> Sitting in Vermont <clears throat> watching it. Look at this shot. He ain't that good. I can't believe he got that much right off that ball. Man, that's a nice hit. And they are there for the picking now, for folks. Three, four, getting the angle on that five, pop six. Yeah, I mean, they're wide open. I mean, the toughest shot is eight to the nine, you know. And that's not tough. That one miss on the nine, if he gets out here, that would have. You're talking about oh, seven yeah, seven. You're looking at uh, top, you're coming up You're talking seven seven, that's how I can't believe he missed it. But Big difference eight, five and seven six. Oh. Especially yeah, like, like what close. is it? Like eight, nine different eight or nine different games, yeah. I mean, there's no way to actually calculate <laughs> yeah, that. <it's... laughs> I mean, you can get close, but nobody can actually calculate. I don't have that. a calculator, so there's nobody can actually can't pinpoint, but some <laughs> somewhere between seven seven game swing. Yeah, so <laughs> It's crazy about that angle, but no, I, I don't know why he didn't shoot that with some left. He just kind of feathered it in. I don't either. It's kind of what I was thinking. Because you know you kind of want to be straight on that six ball. Yeah, I mean if he gets on the back rail, you got to you got a good carom on the nine, but man, he gets straight on the six. Yeah, shoot seven, double a pocket. You're these out. Guys never want to try to shortcut that game no. like that. You know, they, he's gonna have to do something here. He ain't gonna soft stroke it. No. I can guarantee you that. I mean, maybe he'll bump right into it and shove it over closer. Than I don't see him gambling like that either. I see him either coming over for a billiard or coming over for that 7 9 combo. I just don't know why he came over here instead of shooting. I mean, left. he might have hit the five a little too thin and didn't take to. They might have hit it on the short Even side. His speed, though, I thought was quite a ways off. Yeah, he tried to go into it. He did. But that's it's what happened. Him. That's what happens. I think if you can come into it, it's right. But I mean, there's so many. If, if you come over two times across, or even for the combo, you know you're not. You know the balls are going to be in the same position. Right. Which I mean, who am I to sit here and criticize the K bone? <laughs> but I mean, I did. I didn't think that he would come into it. And I thought he would go into the seven. He, I think he tried to. He just went too far. Mm -hmm. He put himself in that position. Yeah. He kind of had no choice. Right. I mean, if that I nine ball, move that nine ball a quarter of an inch, to seven passes. So mm -hmm. it's just a. But. You come into balls, that's what. What you gonna do now? Try to thin this to the rail and send the cue ball? I don't know. Let but the nine ball block? Tell you what, this is a big game for him. Real big. This is a tough shot, no matter how you look at it. This is tough. And he's on the rail, so he's gonna have tough yeah, to play leave. You can't play, you can't even really shoot the lead on this. See him look that way, so I don't. He made the nine two. He made the nine twice, two yeah, rounds. Yeah, two rounds. No, he APA it. APA it. It works sometimes, you know. Fire in the hole. <clears throat> Makes it eight six.
definitely a big shot for Gabe for it to go. Gotta get some rolls. Yeah, I mean, he, there was some poor execution there. He, he, was, he managed to come out of it. Yeah. Uh, That's part of nine ball right there. Crushes it. Nine ball drops, but it doesn't count. Nine and one, but you're right. Nine ball count in the spot. Boy, they're spread if he's got a shot. You know, Colin, there's definitely a chance he played the seven. Uh, I mean, I've never seen him look that direction to see, if, you know, the angle of it. He might have known it was. I think he was. I think he was playing the nine cross corner. <laughs> and he might have been playing the seven too. <laughs> Regardless, he gets a W in the books. Yeah, he does. Uh, I, just, I just figured if he was trying to play the seven to carry him up there, he would, he would just shut. And I never yeah, seen. I never saw him watch that either. And the seven was irrelevant because the nine dropped. See, so a little bit of a finesse lead here. I don't see him going for this. He'd be trying to shoot a save. Say you want to bank at between the eight and five, put it down behind the seven. I would say you're right. You leave the cue ball down here behind the eight somewhere. Right. Uh, he's trying to come on the other side of it. He might be banking it. There. Well, I don't like that shot. Oh, man. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't like that shot at all. Even Justin likes this. If you don't make it, jump it. And you'll make it anyways. Yeah, shooting that shot was really no stroke. And I think banking that ball down behind the seven was a better option. He was coming into the five, so he needed to just miss. I don't know. He got such a small window for a leave as opposed to putting a three back behind the stack and then behind the eight where you got a kick. But he's starting to play kind of tight right now. Seems like he is. Texas four drifts back up for the five. He's not crazy about the angle. No. Josh Franklin and Chris Brown. Table four, Josh Franklin, Chris Brown. All right, we got another scoring update. Jonathan Hennessy defeats Rick Rankin, 11-8. So it sounds like another pretty close match. That's a real good match. I said Rick 
Rick put a three pack on him. Rick's been training a lot and playing hard and trying to get better. That's a good match against Tennessee. I think if Rick put as much time into playing pool as he did hunting, though, yeah. uh, <laughs> the guy's a hunting fanatic. He is. I told him to go kick him out of the zoo uh, sooner or later. <laughs> uh, Justin's uh, about to take care of this. <laughs> Gabe gives it in the game. Justin, uh, back up by three again. Yeah, got a, got a little breathing room. Justin needs two and Gabe needs five. That safe just wasn't, didn't work. Yeah, I just, you know, I, I don't think it was a smart shot. I really don't. I think it was a tight shot. Uh, he shot it timidly. Because even if you would have knocked him a little bit, it was, you know, for these guys here, that's wasn't a real tough jump shot. No. He didn't even jump it, he just shot it. Oh, yeah, he shot it straight in. Yep. Or almost straight in. Maybe the five, no. maybe the six. Oh, yes. Yeah, Don, it's always good pool here, good tournament, good atmosphere. There's a pizza place down the road here that I love. What's it called? I never got Geo, it. Geo's Pizza. I'll give them a little plug. I see a lot of people ordering from them, though. And it's a bit, and their large is large. I mean, it's like an 18 inch or something like that. It's big. Wow. Any more of these pizza places, they minimize their pizzas down to a large to 12 inch or 14. Well, they got to make that dough, you know. <laughs> uh, I, I opened the window for that. Uh, I, get so, the I get the assist. I'm so punny. I'll give you the assist. <laughs> Fred Babcock on here watching. They just won the APA Masters. Him and I forget who we played with. Maybe John Edwards. Garza. I don't remember for sure. They had a pretty tough team. I know that. Definitely strong. Now, I can't tell for sure, Jacob, um, what the what stick he's got. It's black with some. Uh, I think it's a Walmart. They put them on stuff. Stuff Duffer. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's a it's a black stick with some blue inlays. I'm not sure what it is. I think it's a house cue. House cue. <laughs> So Fred and him think this is a tie. It's a low max. Oh, look at this stroke. Very well could be a low max stick. Coming around four rails for the three nine. I mean, he didn't line. He didn't get completely lined up. It looks like he's maybe an eighth of an inch out of line on it. Well, and you know what? He's going to pull that cue ball down behind a four and seven, just in case, most likely. I think he's just going to make it. No, nope, you're right. Yeah, he was locked up. Yeah, <laughs> he, <the> drum. <laughs> he was going to play that smart. Yeah, <laughs> make sure. Wow. Glad he hit it. I'm, really good. I mean, the kid's got potential. <laughs> he he's going to be good. Someday. He could go. He can go places. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching the up and coming. Yeah, that's right. It was Jonah Bunch and Jimmy Edwards and uh, Fred Babcock won the APA Masters three men this year. That's a tough team right there. That's pretty tough. So Justin Bergman, uh, first one uh, to the hill. He's on the hill. Six. He is and, on the hill. And breaking. And he's breaking. He's got it like that. That's going to be the last time he breaks this set, though. I can guarantee you that. Most likely it will be, yes. Yeah, this kid has a lot of potential. He really does. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a funny game, you know. It's, uh, the first one to 11, seems like they always win. 
Oh, oh, oh. Ouch. Oh, man. We, we, should, we should start doing it in our street. We should be John Madden commentating. Yeah. You know, the, the first person that makes the nine ball <laughs> really wins that game. Yeah. We could commentate like the Moscone Cup. Um, he has a one ball here. He's probably going to play safety because all I've ever commentated is online poker. Was that some of the worst you ever heard in your oh, life? Oh, it's it worse. Really was. I'm like, Jesus, I'm not a professional. I play decent. And I'm, I'm thinking, they never, ever commentate. Oh, they never call the shot right. I'm sitting here thinking, what are you guys calling? Yeah. He's all in, folks. <laughs> He's all in. He's standing up. I was waiting for him to say it. He's all in. He shot that shot like he was waiting for the flop. Uh, Fred, no, it's an open break anywhere you'd like to break. Uh, nine ball does not count at all anywhere on the table on break. Yes, Eric, double elimination. 11 into winners, uh, 9 into one lost side. <laughs> Somebody watch your head. Where's Jamerson? Pat. <laughs> calling for a... Uh, calling for a rep to... Yeah, he's. Uh, here. I think he's concerned he could hit the seven ball there first. We get the blindest guy in the room now. <laughs> Let me get my trifocals here. If he ain't the blindest, he's definitely the drunkest. Let me put my glasses. Uh, yes, Fred, we did get a full 16 men filled uh, uh, with the inclusion of uh, Justin Berkman, of course, Gabe Owens, Alex Olinger. Uh, Devin Petit, Jonathan Hennessy, some pretty top players in it. It's a stack bracket. And Bergman's gonna, that'll be, if he breaks these and runs them, that'll be probably what, five, five from the break he's put on him. And Dave C. Uh, Justin Berger wins that set 11 to 6. Uh, it's real close to the first part. Uh, stay tuned, folks. Next up on the